Where is focus? Did I set focus? I hope so. Welcome to this channel. Today we will shoot a lipstick. But that's not the main reason why I'm doing this tutorial. It's because of this. It's because of the gradient. I've done one before. I can link it up there. I want to do a new one because I printed out much nicer gradients. I go to Photoshop, take the gradient tool, create a gradient from bright to dark, print it out. And I will light this gradient so it will reflect into the product. This is a very great way to create a gradient in a very simple way. Okay, so we will do this today. I will also show you how to get a smooth, soft gradient on the background. Because I see many struggling with this when I see photos. I will show you. Okay. Okay, let's go. Three pro photo flashes and we will uh, turn on one at a time as always. You should always focus on one flash and then go move on. First we take a shot without any flashes. No flashes. We get a black frame. Well, we have actually some reflection here. Probably it's from the, the LED lights. But don't, uh, don't mind this. Okay, let's turn on the first flash for the background. I always start with the background and move closer to the object. It's easier this way. Okay, here we have the first flash. Reflector and a honeycomb grid on. So it's a 10 degree honeycomb grid and it shoots onto the background back there. Around there. And let's take a shot. And here we have the spot. So this flash is just uh, making a spot on the background. So we will get this nice gradient effect. And you see here, we have super smooth up to the darkness here. And the main reason why it's so smooth and nice is because there is a distance to the background from the product. We set the focus on this lipstick here and uh, it's uh, like one and a half meter. Then back there, it's super, super blurry, no matter what aperture you are setting. So this is very important because this red background is actually not that nice. It's kind of wobbly, but it doesn't really matter because the distance is very big and we will not see any wrinkles. You see here, it looks kind of smooth. There is something here, but this is this soft box. And I will tell you soon why it's there. Okay, calm down. So let's turn on the next flash. The main flash. It's this guy up here. And what's your name? B, probably. I mean A. So here we have the second flash. Pro photo flash again with a small softbox. I think it's, uh, what is it? One time 1.3 feet, I guess. And it has a grid on. But then I have also a diffusion outside because I don't want the grid to show up in the glossy part of the lipstick, okay? So that's how you can avoid this. You can control the light because I don't want it to spill down so much. And this is a bit interesting. Here we have this gradient that I printed out. It's over here. And I put this on the side of the lipstick so the light will hit this gradient and that will reflect back on to the lipstick. So let's take a shot. And here you can see the softbox. It's a bit too low, but I need to have it low. Otherwise it will not look so nice. But I will take a separate shot at the end when I take this softbox away. So we will have a clean background. We just fix this in post, okay? So what else do we have here? Well, you see, this is what I want. You see this gradient here. So now let's put on the third and the last flash, it's back there. And I think her name is C. And that flash 
it's over here with a five degree honeycomb grid so it's very very narrow and it will hit this diffusion and this is just to create a, a kicker on the right side of the lipstick you will see when I'm taking the shot but it's over there and it's coming from behind and also the light will come and hit this on the other side and we will get a nice feel also on this side. So let's take a shot. Now you see, you can look at before, after, before, after. Now see now, I moved it a bit. I don't want to have this dark here. From the back, we get a very nice rim light and it goes along at the back there. But there is two lines. The edge light will come from behind and this guy, the other line here that will come from this one and I need to fix this so it will look nice below here too so I will do that now I just move this uh, white card just a few millimeters so probably hopefully we will get a nice yes there will be some uh, Photoshop fixing I see here we have some uh, leaks from somewhere probably from the softbox that creates this or there is a bounce on the on the C sta stand and it bounces into onto the lipstick but this I will fix in Photoshop and I will show you this probably in a separate video okay now we only need to take a separate shot for the background remove this softbox so we will have a clean background it's very important you know um, so I will do that but before I do that I would like to do a quick and dirty focus stacking okay so i will do that okay now i've done a focus stacking have all the parts in the shot sharp multiple shots and then i just stack them together so the whole scene will be sharp except the background of course we want that to be smooth and nice so now i will take away this softbox so we will have a clean nice background to use in the post-production so there you go that we have the background shot without the softbox in and also without the product actually i often find it nice to have extra shot without the product if we need to tweak something in photoshop okay that's it for today where's my coffee i will jump into photoshop and uh, Tweak a bit, I guess, retouch a bit, fixing up the final parts. And I will hopefully, I will record this. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching. And uh, if you made it this far, please hit that like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And also a huge thanks to the coffee supporters, the members of this channel. If you'd like to be a member, you can hit the join button below. The coffee supporters that will keep this channel alive okay thank you so much for all the support it's amazing and if you're not in the facebook group we have some contests there check the link below okay and as always i will see you next need to do with this hand yeah time